the stakeholders from this tea auction today have begged us to make sure that we go back and retract the process. We need to relook and review the tea policy that was abandoned in 2014 and make sure that we implement the policy so that we can guide in the process of making the law. Number two, we have also listened to their challenges when it comes to the taxation regime in this country. And we have agreed that we are collectively going to lobby the executive and the presidency so that we can all agree on a better taxing regime that is going to accommodate more of local value addition and accommodate more players in the industry to create more jobs and to improve, uh, improve the competitiveness of the tea in the, uh, that is going to be available in the market. And therefore, we have agreed that we are going to escalate our discussions to the executive, even as we concentrate more on making sure that we prepare uh, the uh, legislative uh, tools that is available to us to facilitate the lawmaking process. We have also agreed that we are going to review the pending bill, the Senate bill that was mutilated in the previous National Assembly floor. I do not shy from saying and using the word mutilated because the Senate of Kenya in the previous 12th Parliament made for us a very good law. They made a law that really directed us on the way we should trade on coffee and tea. But when the, the bill came to the floor of the House of the 12th Parliament, because of state capture and conflict of interest, that bill was mutilated and it was reduced to cater for a, a few of the, of the interested parties. We, 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 are, we are collectively saying it is our duty to make sure that we seal those loopholes and we are going to make sure that the Senate bill that was mutilated is revisited. And issues that really oppress our farmers and oppress the stakeholders are reviewed collectively. We have had a wonderful engagement with members of parliament and their concerns. And we have shared with them the challenges that we are facing in the industry. And we have agreed that we are going to present a memorandum for them to escalate and rework their mutilated T-bill that, that, that was not properly done in the previous parliament. We realize that a lot of our tea is bought and processed in Egypt and Pakistan and then reshipped to other countries because of the cost of packaging materials and all the accompanying uh, liabilities. So we will be pushing through the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya to have this conversation escalated to the head of state so that we make it easy for our dealers to package our coffee and tea right here in Kenya because it is obvious now that the market is more responsive to packaged tea more than the bulk tea that we export from the auction. That, among others, will form a, a, a level ground where we will start the fight to help our farmers and to help our country to, to earn more. And I think we are going to start on immediately, without even wasting time, with trying to remove all the impending issues when it comes to value addition uh, uh, for our tea. And it's a shock that even serious investors from Kenya feel uh, uh, so uh, challenged that they have to go out against their will to go and do value addition in other countries. So we are going to ensure that the government is not an impediment to value addition of our cash crops. Number two, there has been an issue, and I know we promised uh, guaranteed minimum returns on investment for our coffee and tea, but we need to clarify that we did not want to have a low price as the price set for our crops. No, we want a good price. So all stakeholders, we are going to continue engaging and we are happy to have the leadership of our chair and uh, the deputy president to ensure that uh, we get it right this time. Honorable members of the Coffee and 
guarantee focus of the third option room, what we used to call the open dry system. On this seat, the broker would sit there and buy a cow overtaken by technology. So you can do it from the comfort of your office. Yes. 